Hello! I'm, uh, doing another one of these late night rambles, as I'm apt to do from time to time. Uh, the thing on my mind today is actually, um, OSR, the uh, Old School Revival. Old School Revival is an interesting thing. Um, on some levels, I often sympathize very much with it. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Mistara, which is classic D&D stuff. Um, and, you know, I've played D&D pretty much every edition since, you know, the old days. You know, like, and, and, and so I can certainly sympathize with the desire to have old school games. And some of the old school games that I've seen have been really well put together, actually. They're designed to reproduce the, uh, the feel of the old D&D. Back when, you know, many of us who have been playing it for decades, started. Uh, it, it, it's pretty clear that that influence certainly influenced 5th edition to a certain extent. Um, I think, uh, you know, overall, the, uh, the OSR movement has been a positive one. I think that there are some times where I find some of the vitriol that you find uh, from some members of the uh, committee a little disconcerting um, you know the people that tell you that uh, you know every edition except for the one that they love was stupid and therefore you know anyone who liked them did not understand D&D &D or you run into the type uh, and it actually kind of goes downhill from there on some levels but in any kind of gaming movement, I guess, you're going to always end up any kind of movement, really. You're going to end up with some people that have extreme ends of the view. Uh, I don't tend to want to associate with extreme ends of the view on any, uh, you know, sort of social construct. Um, but the actual intent of OSR actually kind of, you know, agree with, to a certain extent, keeping alive some of the games that we liked in the beginning. And I uh, this is not to say I don't like any of the editions that came after the editions that I started on. I liked 3rd edition, 3.5, 4th edition, and 5th edition. I like Pathfinder. I like all the editions of D&D. Sorry, guys. It's just the thing. Um, it, and, you know, you can take away whatever you like from different games, right? You know, for 3.5 and to a certain extent Pathfinder, it's an excellent tool set for, you know, making a game. It's very, in some ways, it's a very generic universe kind of game if your generic universe is a fantasy one. Uh, for fourth edition, they decided what sort of game style they wanted and they designed a system to match that. And I can appreciate that. Um, the OSR games tend to go back to the, the much more loosely put together, uh, you know, classic first edition and second edition D&D, some of the basic D&D from the old uh, Metzler box sets. Um, is it Metzler? Metzger? I, I, I always get the name mixed up. But the old box sets, the old basic expert, companion, master, immortals, those box sets. Uh, and OSR tends to fall... Uh, go back towards that. And that's cool, too. I mean, I, I liked those games in the first place. I'm perfectly fine with the games. Um, you know, people trying to revive that feeling. Uh, I think that uh, my only caveat to that is a lot of the people I game with are not as into those old school games, so I have a hard time finding people to play with. Um, not that I've done much gaming lately, but when I was gaming fairly regularly, uh, most people were more enamored with some of the newer games and newer innovations in games. And, uh, you know, they, they weren't as into the old school stuff. So finding anybody who'd be interested in trying the old school revival was would be uh, harder for me. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing some, but I'd have to find somebody who'd be interested. Now, to bring this back around a bit, uh, what brought this up to me is that I've been seeing a couple of things that 
uh, sort of ties into the OSR movement uh, that I find interesting. Um, OSR tends to, to harken back to the old D&D games uh, and D&D-like games. Uh, but uh, there, one game was announced recently called White Star, uh, which is uh, uh, actually a port of one of the uh, uh, the the systems that uh, is used by a lot of the uh, old school revival people, and uh, to make a science fiction game, a la tr uh, early traveler or more likely. Uh, uh, Star Frontiers. Uh, add into that uh, the game Strange Stars, which also harkens back to an old style of uh, game world, at least, uh, which uh, the cover of it is designed to look like the cover of the old uh, Star Frontiers game. Uh, and, and so we're beginning to see sort of a tie-in of OSR to stuff that came after D and D, uh, and I find that fascinating. Um, I, I, it, it's like we've gone back to the, to the beginning, and we're going back to the other things from that era that we liked that weren't just D and D. And I find that a, a neat sort of thing that that's uh, happening. I, while I would, I am, I'd be interested in playing a, a classic, you know, old school. Uh, uh, revival uh, game of you know in a DD style I'm more interested in actually doing a star frontier style game uh, I find that science fiction has always been a, a favorite of mine uh, in uh, gaming and there have been only a few systems by comparison to say fantasy where that has been uh, explored and I, I, I would be interested in to try, uh, maybe a White Star or or maybe run a game in uh, the Strange Star setting, um, because uh, you know I think they're doing that one as somewhat system agnostic. You can try it, you can run it in a bunch of different systems, uh, but yeah, I, I think that 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 sort of old school sci fi feel. It's nice to see them sort of pulling some of that in. Uh, add into that some of the, uh, the the fan redo of the old D6 Star Wars system uh, that you can get out there. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, there are some superhero games that are designed to reflect the Marvel superheroes role-playing game rule set. Uh, and so th there's a lot more to the, the old school revival than just, you know, we loved D&D back when we started. There's also the other games that we may have loved back then that are getting pulled into that as well. And I, 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 I find myself in, enjoying watching that happen. Uh, like I said, I don't get the game as much as I used to, uh, which, you know, is annoying. I'm not going to lie. But uh, uh, if I did, I would be interested in trying some of these out. Um, when I ran my one fifth edition game, I ran it in Mistara because I was interested in doing an old, you know, old D&D type thing, you know. I tossed in some sci-fi elements, because that was very much part of the old D&D experience. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I just, I thought I'd share my thoughts on the current sort of iterations of the old school revival and some of the things that are expanding outside of just, you know, old D&D that we liked. Um, so, I, you know. That's my thoughts. You can ignore them if, as you wish, or tell me I'm an idiot. That, that could happen. Or a crazy person. That, that also could happen. Or a uh, mad genius. That is less likely to come up. But, you know, I could dream. Anyway, uh, check back in tomorrow. I'm going to have another uh, geek word tomorrow, and we'll see what happens after that. But, uh... Thanks for watching, subscribe, share, like, you know, all the usual stuff. And uh, tell me what you think of the the, the new sci-fi old school revival type stuff going on. I'm interested to hear what other people think on this.
But uh, I'll talk to you later.